Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. This is Mysterious JG. We uh, pushed Cao Cao back. Wu is trying to do the same thing in the south. It would appear that Wei will be the first of the Three Kingdoms to fall. Uh, depending on how well my um, diplomacy with um, Sa Sun Quan, Sun Quan, or uh, yeah, they call him like Sun Chuen in uh, Dynasty Warrior 7. They cannot figure out how they want to pronounce this guy's name. But uh, depending on how diplomatic relations with this guy uh, go, um, we still have friendly relations with them. They are not sliding as fast as they did. It seems like I had to constantly pump gold into that jerkwad to keep him happy with us before. Now, I think um, they're probably not going to want to start fucking with us until they have to. Anyway, it's time to conclude this turn of Liu Bei's army, but let's... Uh, Let's check in with, uh... Oh, Zhu Chang. They get their transport unit in here. Good watch that. Oh, sh come on, Kong Rong. Give us a chance to recruit you, you jerk. <sighs> Li Dian has escaped from Chang. I thought I was going to lose more. I, th I lost two of officers that were captured. Li Dian was captured in Chang On a long time ago, but... I should have known I'd never get him in my force. He was a pretty big-time way officer. He's about as important as he can get, I believe, without being a Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors favors officers about whom there is one or two really interesting anecdotal stories in the novel. Li Dian was just like a competent way general. Didn't like ever famously, you know, do anything particularly romantic or, you know, adventure -y. He just kind of led troops competently. And, uh, yeah. So who the hell has time for, you know, making a character out of that? Alright, so Zhihi. Zhihi! Did I say welcome back to Let's Play Romance at the Game of 11 yet? I don't know if I did or not. See, now this would have been a perfect mission for Mr. Sirius. Just get him on a boat and have him take over a bunch of undefended ports. But, um... This has never been occupied before. And now it's occupied by the forces of Shu. It's awesome, isn't it? Alright. I've only got one officer here, so it should be pretty easy to determine whether or not I can hire any of these guys. Oh! Jin Liang Bidang is here, but I can't hire with this guy. Probably means I've got a really low charisma officer that I'm trying to use to hire people here. So maybe when some of the good officers are done building stuff... Oh, I can actually hire him, though. It's going to take ten days. I wonder how that happened. Where is that guy? This is Luo Yang. And he is in Wan. Okay, well, let's see if we can hire the guy in, in Wan instead. Oh, with the one officer I've got down here. Why don't you help out? Whoa, what the hell? What are Jihao Mao's stats? Jihao Mao, are you like actually brain dead? I don't know who Jihao Mao is. I'm thinking he must be a famous character in the book. He's famous for his like incompetence. That is Liu Shan levels of uh, stats. Wow. Timid. That's usually not a good sign either. Jihao Dun Dun's son. He must have like. Slap around to much. Officer of Wei, son of Jihao Yuan, adopted by Jihao Dun, though he is not Jihao Dun's real child, according to official history. Not met the attacking Shu forces in battle, but was defeated. Fled to Hu, from where he never returned. Okay, so he just, like, was in one battle and lost. Seems like, uh, kind of, uh, rough to make him, uh... I don't know, man. I'll recruit anybody into my force. He could, you know, Mr. Sirius uh, will have somebody that he can feel superior to. 
Alright, let's try to get him. Mr. Sirius, uh, get in here and see if you can talk to him, retard to retard. <laughs> Sorry. Let's start working on Will. We got a whole bunch of officers who are free here. So what do we need to develop? What's the last thing we need to develop in this place is probably a smith. Even though I like the idea of having a stable, we just don't have room for it. Let's see who does that leave? Zhu Rong and Putong. Increase troop stuff. I suppose I could have these guys try to hire some of those uh, captured prisoners from those uh, faraway cities. Captured dang high? When did I do that? I probably noticed at the time. Dang high is a big freaking deal officer. Not as big a deal officer as Sorkin Nail. Who has a created officer, has like ludicrous stats, but. And these are the guys who are never gonna freaking join us no matter what, so it's. Oh man, Kayan is one of them. Well, she is a playable character in Dynasty Warriors 7. Although I don't think she's called Kai Yan. I think that's some other name for her, but I think it's the same chick. Hold on. Let's check something here. So it says something about a female poet and daughter of Kai Yang. She was dragged away by foreign barbarians. Yeah, that's her. Yeah, she was like rescued by Cao Cao, like uh not didn't go in there with like a sword and hack people up, but he paid the ransom for this daughter of this famous poet person and that's the reason that she is an officer in Dynasty Warriors now. Generally speaking, Dynasty Warriors officers are not going to switch sides. Oh, I got Zhang Lu and Kong Rong confused before, because they have similar portraits. Not even similar names. Come on, damn it, I want to recruit Deng Ai. I want to recruit Sork and Nail, too. I don't really care so much about Ji Hao Mao. Ba boom, bow, bow, butch, gow, bow, ba boom, bow, 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 it's a Ji Hao Mao. Okay, you guys are not joining me ever. I said something about transporting stuff out of uh, Chang On in the last turn. I didn't really end up doing that, did I? Sure hope they don't sneak up on Chang Han after I do this, but um, yeah. Chang Han, I can. I have to remember to start using my action points there to quickly start rebuilding some of this that I've just given away. But I didn't leave them a ton of gold, of course. But this city, once it's rebuilt, is going to be pushing right on through to Chen Liu. I'll already have Zhu Chang by then, but um. I mean, ultimately, they're going to be trying to take, like, you know, a lot of other way cities. GFP seems like it's going to be the big one that I'm going to want to really fight for, because if I can take it, it seems like I'd be breaking Cao Cao's back. So let's, um... You guys aren't going to do anything. You're just building up forces. I can appreciate that. That's a smart move. But you're not going to try to take any kind of hostile action against this, are you? Let's see what's going on down here. Jiaodun, Nagi. 
Oh, good. We've hired one of them dudes. Oh, Cow Cow doesn't like us anymore. What do you know? It's like, we killed your wife. It's like, no problem. But then we hired that guy, and he's like, What? What? I'll never forgive you. Liu Bei, in this land today, there is but one true douchebag. Do you know who it is? It's you, dickweed. That's more like a jihad dude. This is ridiculous AI battle where nobody's using any intelligence at all. Continues. Huge freaking siege units that should be just getting diced the fuck up. And yet the computer is defending against them. Billy really doesn't seem to be doing that good with it. Chu Chang is a very prosperous city. Man, look at that. Mints. A mint surrounded by markets, a, bear, a granary surrounded by farms. I want that city. I want it. I want it. Alright, so what did I say about, uh, I was gonna start hiring some of these prisoners up. Well, I need to reward, first of all, because I've got new officers. I need to reward again uh, later in this turn. No more developing to be done here, but I can try to employ some folks. Come on, Jinx, I have a word with her. Woman to woman. Woman to woman. I'm just curious who the free officers here actually are. Liu Bei is not... Well, yeah, Jing Tsai and Brandon Elemen are apparently not able to hire anybody despite their super high charisma skills. But Liu Bei is not one of the ones who's free. And I'm like, good. Because if it turns out Liu Bei cannot personally go up to those people and convince them to join his, his empire, then he's just not doing good, really. Leg Lego can get him to join, but Leg Lego cannot get her to join. Despite his picture showing up, Doom Screamy could get that guy. Let's forget about them for a minute and uh, check on Dang Eye. No, Doom Screamy's picture down there is a lie. She cannot get him to join. Nor can she get Sorkin Nail to join. Which sucks because I want them. Alright. Let's just hire who I actually can. Not her, but him. Leg Lego successfully employed Zhang Hu. Yeah, baby. And now we're gonna need to reward some more, but. I'll try and hire whoever the hell that was. Thanks, Jim Screamy. It's like, eh, I'm too stupid to actually join you. <laughs> it's like, it's like, would you join us, Ji Hao Mao? It's like drools dripping down his chin. It's like, I don't understand what you're asking. I am confused. Only Vulture Bobo can convince me. <laughs> he too is confused. We are brothers in confusion. There are confusions. Okay, all these guys have loyalty of 100. I don't know why I'm still bothering with this. Let's get some more developing going on. That's what this place needs. A farm, another market. A little bit more of this, a little more of that. Mr. Sirius getting involved in the construction. That's a sign that I'm probably out of officers in the city. <laughs> yes, that is exactly what that means. Okay. Now, who can you hire to join your force? Somebody's already working on him, but you can't get him anyway. Come on. Throw me a bone here, game. Sorkin Nail, you told me you wanted to join my force. What's going on? The 
beloved wife of Liu Bei and the beloved Zhou Yun. I don't know which one he loves more. It's a much tighter contest than you might think, folks. I don't know whether it was Vulture Bobo or Grimeth that made me think of that. Probably was not. Um, Sun Wukong. Awesomely powerful force of officers. Drilling troops. That's what happens sometimes, folks. Shuge Leong, did you do your thing yet for this turn? Let's see. No, you did not. Okay. Oh, Juide. Eat fire, motherfuckers. Okay, so we'll have that soon ish, I hope. Then Juge Leong can come back triumphantly to Luo Yang, what city he's never been to before, as far as I know. Somebody hasn't moved yet. It's probably Pang Tong and Ma Ti or whoever. Uh, there's some other person in that unit, too. Pang Tong, Ma Ti, and Ma Chao. Pang Tong has apparently forgiven the Ma family for beating the crap out of them during the invasion of their territory. And now they're all buddies. Taking over Gates as a team. So I'm going to want to get some troops over there eventually, because it is... Although Cao Cao is not really showing a lot of aggression over here at the moment, it is bordering him. And then again, I might just leave it alone. It might be fun to just let that... Go back and forth between our two forces for a couple of turns, but um, let's keep an eye on the city here. See if Chin Liu decides I want to make a move. Wang Ying's intelligence is now 83. Whoa, Yo Ji's intelligence is now 68. Everybody's getting smarter. And Tang Jiang successfully employed Lin Jiangru. That be Lin Liu Bei, my strength and my awesome name and my super green shoe hat. Yang Yang successfully employed Yan Jun. I, Yan Jun, will do what I can to have an impressive looking piece of headgear. And Cao Cao doesn't like us anymore. He's not as happy with us as he used to be, you know, when we were all buddy buddy. Which, I mean, there was a point where they were friends, uh, sort of, but not as part of this game. He's Mate Mate. And thanks to the awesomeness of cavalry. Boom. One turn back into Luo Yang. I love it. Alright. Can you hire some of these fuckers? First of all, these two douchebags who deeply, deeply hate you for some reason. One dang eye in my force. I want to. I do. Sork and Nail would also be good. He does not seem to be interested in joining us. Oh, wait, wait, I can still construct stuff here, though, if I'm not going to actually be able to hire anybody. Five troops left, seriously, so now I can't move on the next turn. I have to stay parked and take that place over. And it basically just means I lost a turn's worth of movement, but it just seems really silly. Now I can trust that this city will get reinforced like gangbusters by, you know, cities over here, I hope. How many officers are over here? Nine? 
do you have nine officers there? I don't think I left enough uh, behind enough guys for that. Because they've got other cities that have like three or four. Okay, that's fine. Tianxi has four. You've got troops in these gates. I don't know why. Because there's... Ugh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway. Let's not worry about rebuilding Chang'an yet. Until I've uh, spent all my action points over here. Sork and Nail, how about you, man? Nope. I also don't really want to leave these cities, because all these officers are going to escape. If I don't have, like, a billion soldiers in these cities. Fine. Fine. You know what? I don't want you. You had, If you would even said you were going to join me, I would have told you, nope. It's okay. You had your chance. I don't want you anymore. Alright, so what am I doing here? Uh, I've got four spots left here. I should actually look at what I've got. I would need to destroy that blacksmith to get another market. It might not be worth doing, actually. I've got a blacksmith, so I can get a... four more things in here. I've already got a blacksmith. I can get a barracks, a stable, boom, boom, I have two more. I could do a workshop, or I could do another barracks. I, mean, I could do a workshop in another barracks. Either way, I gotta get a barracks built, so it's a postponed tough decision. Two more I could do. I don't really care about building ships here. Uh, I think I've got enough ships to last me the entire freaking game. If I can just remember where they are and transport them to the right places. Let's do. Let's do a workshop in case I need to build more towers. And then I'll probably just build another barracks. That will take you guys a million years, though. Yeah, forget it. You guys just drill. Alright, I believe Liu Bei might now be free to hire people. Maybe. But that doesn't necessarily mean that he will be able to do so. That's working now. Uh, uh. I just, I don't like having all these officers hanging around that are not working for me. It just bugs me. They should be working for Liu Bei. Liu Bei is the coolness. All right, Can you research technique in this city. Why not? What do we gotta learn next? Surprise! Then I can start. Yeah, it's, it's like not really the hottest of the level three skills, but um, it'll only take them 60 days to learn. It'll be good deeds for these people, and it'll pretty much wrap up all of my um action points there. So that wasn't really by design, but okay. Continue to keep an eye on Chen Liu in case they decide to get cute down here. Wang Zhong of Shang Yong is dead. Crap. Oh no, Jin Yuan of Xiang Ling is dead. Jin Zhang Zhu of Wan is dead. What is this? Wow, just lost a lot of people there. Yeah, you want is confused about why everyone is suddenly dropping like flies. Where are you guys heading? You guys are you guys are going to help out in some kind of fight against Wu, aren't you? What the hell, guys? Unless they're gonna like divert over here suddenly, but I don't know what's going on. I pretty much need to wrap this turn up soon. All right, well this will be my last uh, my last. Uh, turn, I mean, of this video. I need to wrap the video up. So this will be my last turn of this video. 
this thing still does not belong to me. This troops died in the fire, but it still does not technically belong to Jugaleon. Five troops who were left died in the fire somehow. Now, and only now, is Jugaleon allowed to capture that. Which means that if we look at the map, awesomeness green as far as the eye can see. Sailor Jupiter is pushing Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars back. I'm sorry. Alright. Let's do my uh, normal pathetic effort at hiring people. Their loyalties do sink with time, of course. Yes! Ma Chow could hire Dang Ai. Keep that in mind, folks, but now I'm gonna head actually down to the city where Dang Ai actually is and see if anyone there can hire him. Quick, fast, and hurry. No, for some reason only Ma Chow can pull it off. I don't know why Ma Chow and Dang Ai are tight, but um, I'm fine with it. That's no problem at all. We're gonna go tell stories about how Vulture Bobo is an idiot, and eventually he'll just crack up and say, "Okay, buddy, I got you." Sork and nail yet. I got an injured prisoner. Maybe you'll join us. We'll give you a little medical treatment. <laughs> what do you say? Join uh, Liu Bei. He's an officer of uh, great humanity and virtue, and uh, we're not going to treat your wounds until you do, okay? Understood? Meng Ho could hire that guy. Meng Ho could hire that guy. Liu Bei could hire that guy. <laughs> yeah, you know, Ji Hao Mao is kind of an idiot and all that, but uh, he's also, like, freaking Ji Hao Dun's son. So I don't think he's just gonna, like, spontaneously join up with us. Alright, let's, uh, let's start over. Wait, what's his name to come do whatever? Ju Rong, his wife, will be able to hire the other crazy dude that for some reason is going to listen to the Nanban. He's going to hire Ding Yi. Screamy can hire that checky. Sisters, we need to be doing it for ourselves. And she's like, you're right. Thank you, guys. Successfully employed Jiang Chong. Do everything in my power to be able to be. Huo was the guy I was... Okay, I was thinking it's like shit. I knew. I knew that was somebody I already had somebody coming up to hire. And that... No, no. I've already got someone coming to hire them. JG Mystery hiring Dang I would be awesome, but that is just an illusion, folks. And that guy, uh, Liu Bei, is coming higher. Ah, oh, you. Can, wait a minute. Hold on. Ah, damn it. I hit. I pressed down the circle button and I couldn't release it. Did that. I was hoping I could instead try to hire. Well, not Gio now, but, um, Sork and Nail. Come on, man. Let JG Mystery do it. Created officer to created officer. Like we do. Did I send a transport unit out to, uh... No, from Shangyong to Wan, I haven't. I was gonna send a unit over to Wan to sort of bulk them up a bit. I have not done that. You guys will get over there on your own soon enough. I'll just give you a little time. 
whole lot of precious time. It's gonna take patience and time. Mm, to do it, 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 right, child. on you folks. Uh, I don't feel like ending the video just yet, so I'll go ahead and give this another turn. Even though I said I wasn't going to do that, I'm curious where these guys are going. And I want to see some of those uh, hirings finished up. Do you want them to... Uh, Jin Yi, no, I want ev pretty much I want everybody to go back. I messed this up before. I had somebody pointed out to me, kind of tee hee hee. But um, I was like saying, I want them to return, and then I told them not to. So I'm going to order them back to Jiang Yang. Oh no, it was the other way around. I wanted them to stay in the city they came to and I told them to return. Zhu Rong successfully employed Yang Da Yang. Let me assist Liu Bei with my Yang Da Yang Yang. It's Yang Da Yang Yangy Bang Bang Bang. Doom Screamy successfully employed Jin Jiang Ying. I'm Jin Jiang Ying and I'm here to say that I'm serving Liu Bei in a major way. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, you guys are seriously heading off to help fight against Wu. You do realize that by the time you're able to get back, your city will have fallen to Shu. But, not a whole hell of a lot that they can do right now, folks. Way is screwed. So now we got about 80,000 people in Luo Yang. It's being run by. Wait, how in the hell is Han Sui running the place? I thought Guan Yu was there. So Chen Liu is building up pretty rapidly. Uh, they're not going to go down without a fight after all. Neither is Zhu Chang. I mean, that's what happens. I took my time trying to build these cities, and. I probably should have just pushed on through. turn, and I don't really want to... I mean, I could just at this point... I could send a, mar an, a mighty avenging army, at, excuse me, out of Jin Yi, like, right now to attack Zhu Chang. They'd outnumber them two to one if I was able to take every single troop out of the city. If I sent some guys out of Wan to back them up, but I kind of want to finish dealing with all the various prisoners. Oh, Guan Yu's in charge here. Okay, I get it. Well, first things first. Uh, you guys got a lot of gold? Yeah, you got a decent amount of gold. Give gold some of the new officers. a new guy who uh, refuses to join me but doesn't have a boss. Yes! Okay. Dang Ai is now hireable. Let's see if we can hire him in the city he's at so it will be an instant kind of thing. Ma Liang should be able to hire Dang Ai. Yes. Allow me to assist Liu Bei with my resourcefulness and my cool hat. Ma Chao was canceled. Oh, sorry, Ma Chao. I forgot that you were underway to do that. I just lose track of what I'm doing with other officers, folks. I... Apologies.
Do I even want you? It'd be kind of funny to hire Jihao Dune's kid. Then maybe send him out to battle against Jihao Dune. But, um, I think we all know how that would come out. What the fuck? Let's do it. <laughs> Let's hire the most worthless officer in the game. Who isn't Liu Shang? Sean her I've already got a farm somewhere, yeah, that's why I'm just like... I feel kind of silly about it though, and I think I'll just go ahead and get rid of it now. Because it's not hooked up to a, uh... I mean, it wasn't hurting anything for it to be there, but I'm gonna put something else there eventually, because I'm gonna put, like, military facilities there. This is an excellent plan. I'm stuck up. I could afford to have... So you got seven more spaces to fill. Crap, I have one of everything that would leave me with three more. So I'm gonna have two barracks, two smiths, and two stables here. That's gonna be the plan eventually, I think. Wow, so this is gonna be a super city. Super, super, super city. Alright. You guys develop any more here? You know, just for the hell of it. We got two more spaces to fill. I think we decided we needed another barracks and a workshop. We're not going to bother with shipbuilding here. And that's going to be it for this turn, unless I decide to send some guys. Just like another 10,000 guys with some golden food from Shangyong. Wow, that place got a lot of gold and a lot of food. This, uh, a lot of this obviously came from uh, being transported from other cities. But, uh, yeah, let's... Uh, build one up to be everything it can be. I mean, this would be very close to being literally full of troops when I do that. Oh, I forgot to send weapons, though. Shoot. Oh, damn it. I should have sent weapons. Look at all that. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna end the turn, quickly pull them back in. Oh, shit. That's video's gonna go super long now, but I really wanna fix that. I wanna send them with weapons. Exact That exact unit would be perfect. Well, you know what? I could just on the next video send a, a completely separate transport. Let's do that. Hi, dingy! I'm a dingyling! <laughs> Two Congress and play the Mao. I am the most talented officer of the age, or any age. Zhu Ling likes to play with his dingling. <laughs> oh, wit. Alright, transport units. It's gonna send this guy carrying like 10,000 of everything with him as a separate transport unit. One guy with a million things. 
much. Hope I don't get attacked by barbarians. Uh, my order is at like 100, so that really shouldn't happen. But um, it would be kind of silly at this point. All right, I might as well quick end this turn though. Like, crap, the video's gonna go long, but I'm not trying to sneak in two turns like I would be if I tried to like send that transport unit back and then send it out again in the next turn. Well, no, I could have done it. I would just have to choose a different officer to leave it. Anyway. Jing Tsai is in charge because, uh... I guess because, um... The Yuve is gone recruiting. I want you to recruit handsome young men who look like Guan Ping! But aren't completely stuck on their fathers! And don't have commitment issues! Of commitment issues. There is one free spot of land left, but before we start doing that, let's take a quick look at who can recruit. Sorkin Nail, damn it, Sorkin Nail, you said you wanted to join me, Sorkin Nail. Is this some kind of plot? Are you still working for Toto? It's like, oh, I'm gonna post messages on your uh, LP about how I want to join you, but I'm actually working for CompuTauTau. It's a horrible, vicious plan to demoralize me by not working for me, pretty much. Not a complicated plan, but, uh... It's a complicated plan. No one understands it, but it's a woman plan. Alright, let's, um... Figure out what we're doing here. Watch out, I was like, I don't like the fact that I'm stuck here drilling troops. I was gonna go hire somebody, that didn't pan out. Oh, whatever, I don't care anymore. He don't care anymore. Oh. Can't really do very much here now because we've got everything constructed. And now with all these troops heading this way, I can't recruit. I mean, I could recruit at the cities that just sent away all their troops, of course. That's probably, in fact, what I should be doing. And here we actually could recruit. Get us up to our ceiling. And we can inspect. And drill. And I can take this city should have loads of gold, and it seems like it pretty much does. Award a bunch of new officers. There goes most of my action points. That didn't take too long, folks. Chang on in the meantime is pretty much out of troops. I think more out of troops than any other city that I'm still controlling in District 1. So let's uh, try to do something about that. There we go. Excellent. So that this video has been a little longer than I meant for it to be, but I think it was more or less a success. We have, to a certain extent, built up the cities that we needed to build up. Um, we should be ready, I think, uh, if not in the next video, then within the next video or two. Uh, attack. Yeah. And since I'm ending my current recording session now, I don't even have to worry about pulling out Guan Lu or whoever to, you know, do crap. Let's see, this place here, um, still needs to build another six. Yeah, Luo Yang is going to take a while to get built because there's just so much room for so much stuff. But, uh, I think Guan is, uh, pretty much, um, uh, got something either built or building everywhere. And, uh... Jin Yi? Not a huge city, and it's pretty much ready to go. We're not even waiting on new, uh, new troops. We're just, or supplies. We've just got to get some more, um... I was going to march. I know I don't have enough AP, but I'm just curious to see what goods I've got. And I've got three towers, I got 30,000 horses, 20-something thousand bows and pikes, 25,000 spears. Yeah. I could get a 100,000 man host marching out of there easily on the next turn. 
And Juan is pretty much ready to do the same thing, except that I was going to give these transport units time to arrive. Maybe I'll just let the transport units restock the city after I march out with what I do have here already. I'm short of horses. Uh, but I've got enough stuff to lead a pretty impressive army. And of course I need to drill. But, um, yeah. Zhen Liu is really building up. Zhu Chang is really building up, but it's it's too little too late. Those cities are doomed, as it's Cao Cao's entire force. So, cool. Cool beans, folks. Cool beans. Alright, this is uh, Mysterious JG cutting off this video. Sorry it went a bit long. I'm hoping it was worth it. Uh, we are not too far removed from uh, getting the Emperor back, folks, and um, by the time you get the Emperor back, Cao Cao is pretty much going to be... I mean, his prestige will be gone. He will be uh, a broken and defeated man. So we've got that to look forward to. Thanks for watching, folks. See you next time.